Wall bouncing is used for more than just style points, repositioning, unpredictability, but most importantly, ankle snapping. In today's video, not only will we be breaking down how to input the right buttons and timing to hit a perfect wall bounce every single time, but we'll also be showing different variations of two different types of wall bouncing. Yeah, that's right, there's a type of wall bounce that you've probably never even noticed. Though if you watch people like Fade or Ecstasy or any other movement legend, you've probably seen this happen before. Though actually hitting a wall bounce is important, knowing how to implement it is even more important. So make sure you watch this video all the way through because we're going to be covering everything that has to do with wall bouncing. All right, now before we hop into today's video, hey, my name is District, and if you aren't familiar with me or the content that I make here on YouTube and TikTok, I make coaching videos and guides on how to better yourself in Apex Legends. I also cover things like movement, game sense, how to take fights, and everything related to just, you know, in general, going from being a bot to being a pro. And like I mentioned, I make coaching videos, and that's because I'm actually an Apex coach. I've coached over 1,500 sessions and over 500 players across the world from season seven to season 14. So if after this video, you're still struggling with movement, consider booking a movement session with me the link will always be in the description down below and hey if you're struggling with something right now that's not movement or maybe it's not even just wall bouncing leave a comment down below i'll get back to you and one last thing i typically stream almost every single day here on youtube but for the last few months my internet has been absolutely terrible Wait, oh there we're almost there we're almost there oh he's just teasing me right now come on Almost there, look at that battery. Oh, almost there. Almost there, there we go. Let's get it. Oh, 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 hold on. Oh, oh, I got, oh, hold on. Oh, whoa, 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 okay. It should be fixed soon, so come stop by if you do see me live, say what's up, and let's chat. All right, now let's hop into this custom lobby. Thank you, EA, for always being able to hook me up with codes. Let's start wall bouncing. What is going on everybody, District here, and today I am going to be showing you how you can start wall jumping extremely consistently. Not only am I gonna show you how to wall jump, I'm gonna show you how to wall jump if you play on toggle to crouch. I'm gonna show you how to wall jump if you play on hold to crouch. I'm also gonna show you how to do different variations of wall jumping. I'm gonna show you how to come in on angles, how to run parallel to the wall and wall jump. I'm gonna show you how to come in on the wall straight on. Right, I'm gonna show you a whole bunch of different ways that you can do it. Not only that, but I'm also gonna show you a wall jump technique that not too many people even know is in the game. You've probably seen it a handful of times, especially if you watch people like Fade or Ecstasy or Asu, it's Timmy, but you probably never even realized what was actually happening. Now, for starters, we're gonna break down what a wall jump actually is. A wall jump, a classic wall jump, is a slide jump into a wall and then pushing or jumping off of that wall. Again, that's gonna be a slide jump in and a jump off the wall like that. Now let's start breaking down how we are gonna execute this. It's really important that we have space between us and the wall because if we slide jump too late, we're not gonna have any room to actually connect to the wall like this where we can stick onto it, mantle it and push off. If we slide too close, we're gonna either climb the wall or we're just gonna get stuck and not even connect like that can't connect because there's not enough room to actually slide jump into the wall. Now I typically like to have about Let's explore this way. two to three meters of clearance between me and the wall. You can have a little bit more like this, right? But a good rule of thumb is about two meters, three meters off the wall like that. On top of that, a lot of people think that when you jump off the wall, you have to jump instantaneously like this. Though that is preferred, it's not actually the case. There's a pretty decent buffer time between when you can actually jump off the wall and when the wall, like when you're just gonna drop off the wall. And you can check this out by doing this, watch. Right, even right there, right? I kind of stuck onto the wall. One Mississippi, two, right? About second and a third almost, one Mississippi. Yeah, about a second right there, a little bit over a second. And you'll be able to sit right on the wall and still jump off. So even if you're not perfectly comfortable hitting the wall jump instantaneously coming off like this, you can still practice connecting to the wall and then jumping off when you're ready to. 
Now, getting into actually how we're going to be hitting this wall jump. If we're playing on toggle, toggle here, when we hit crouch, we're locked into that crouch until we either hit crouch again or until we hit jump. If we hit jump, it's going to make us stand back up. If we hit crouch again, we'll stand back up. Now, keep note that when you slide jump, that jump will kick you back up into a crouch when you land. Versus, if we're on hold here, if we hold that crouch, we will continue to be crouched after the jump and end up sliding out of it. You can get the same result when you're on toggle by simply crouch, jump, crouch. The same mechanic right there is just a different input. Now, going back to how we're gonna wall jump with toggle here, all that we're doing is sprint, slide, jump, jump. Sprint, slide, jump, jump. That's all that you're doing when you're playing on toggle. Now for my hold players, whether you're on mouse and keyboard or whether you're on your controller, this is gonna be a little bit different. Unlike toggle, where when you hit jump, it will kick you back up to a standing position. On hold, you're actually gonna have to jump and let go of your crouch so that you go back into a standing position. If you are crouched and you try and engage with a wall, whether that's climbing or mantling, You'll notice right here, even though I'm pushing forward, I'm actually not connecting to the wall at all. I might hit it, but I'm not going to mantle it. Versus if I stand and do the same thing, I can start to climb. So it's really important that when we slide jump, we let go of that crouch so that we can enter a mantle. That mantle is what lets us connect to the wall so that we can jump off. If we hold that crouch when we slide jump, slide jump hold, even though I'm trying to jump off the wall, it won't let me. If you're on toggle, we're going to slide, jump, jump. If we're on holds, what we're going to do is slide, jump, let go, jump. So now that we've got those two different wall jumps down, we have the straight on wall jump and we have an angled wall jump like this. Our next type of wall jump that you see a lot of people making and the one that I would say most people struggle with is the parallel wall jump. A parallel wall jump is you just running parallel to the wall, a quick little turn flick, push yourself into that wall briefly and push off of it like that. Now, the way that we're going to execute this properly isn't by sliding and then looking at the wall because that's not going to push us into the wall, right? There's nothing that's keeping us parallel and then forcing us to go into the wall so that we can jump off. What we're going to have to do here, whether you're on a controller or whether you're on mouse and keyboard, is a quick little directional input into the wall. So as I'm coming here and I slide, jump, you see that right there? Come, slide, jump. I'm gonna use either my directional key, D, or I'm gonna push my analog stick into that wall, All right? Forward, slide, jump, push myself into the wall, and that is what's gonna get me close enough to the point that I can mantle and push off. What it looks like at full speed, right, is forward, slide, jump, push, and that right stick pushing into the wall is what's letting me get close enough so I can mantle and push away. So we're running parallel, slide, jump, push in, push off. Slide, jump, push in, push off. Now we're gonna come over here and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on a different type of wall jump. So we've been doing slide jump wall jumps where essentially, oops, where essentially we're sliding into that wall jump, right? That's a classic wall jump. That's the wall jump that everybody knows. The other type of wall jump it's what's known as a fatigue wall jump. Now, you've probably never heard of this, but you've probably seen it a handful of times by pro players. What a fatigue jump is, right? If we kind of use these bars right here that are embedded into the wall, a regular jump will get us to about the fourth bar. One, two, three, four. What a fatigue jump is, is a jump that's too close to the full jump, right? So you're hitting two jumps back to back, and what's going to happen is full jump, half jump. Everything after this is going to be a half jump until your player can reset. Full jump, half jump. These are all fatigue jumps. Now what we're doing here is we're going to utilize a full jump to fatigue. Now we're in fatigue mode. And then that will be a little push forward to connect to the wall and we'll be able to jump off that. So what we can end up doing here, right, is we can jump forward to fatigue and then push off after we mantle it. The way that we're gonna mantle this is no different than the way that when we were parallel to the wall and we pushed ourselves into the wall, right? We're just gonna push ourselves in and then quickly push off once we're mantled. Now this, it's important, right? You don't continue to push forward on your analog stick, 
Otherwise, you're going to push and climb up the wall, right? So if I fatigue and then do that, right, I'm just going to end up climbing the wall or I'm going to get a weird jump that's just going to launch me up like that, right? So if you want to, you know, launch straight up, that's totally cool, right? But that's not going to be a good wall jump to push yourself backwards like this, right? So again, what we're doing is we're going to fatigue ourselves, get close, push ourselves into the wall so that we're in a quick mantle, and then once we're mantled like this, mantle, we're going to let go and push off. And by let go, I mean let go of your analog stick or let go of your W key. All right. So fatigue, connect, jump off. Now, this method is really useful for just overall keeping your momentum or hitting a wall jump in a scenario where you don't have enough room or enough time to hit a slide jump. I talk about this all the time in my coaching videos. Now, if I were in a gunfight and my gun is in my hand, and I wanna slide forward. I'm gonna have to take a minimum of one, two, three steps and then use that momentum, one, two, three step, to slide jump forward. Now this raises a whole bunch of issues because you have to take a minimum of one, two, three. Anything shorter than this, one, two. You're not gonna be able to slide, one, one, two, one, two, three. Boom, there you go. A way that we can get around this is by holstering our gun holster, one step, you can slide. If I'm behind cover here, I can essentially come out, holster, unholster, and slide out like that, right? But not every situation, you're going to be able to just holster your gun and then come out and make a play like that. A lot of the time, you're going to be pressed up against somebody. So for example, maybe there's somebody right here. I'm in a gunfight, right? And I want to utilize a wall bounce to make myself hard to hit. Right? I'm not going to have time to go da da da, shoot, come around and fight him, right? But I will have time to be fighting, jump, and go like that. There you go. So that's a way right there that we could start utilizing these fatigue jumps. A great way to use a fatigue wall jump would be if I slide jump here and then I use a fatigue jump to cover that distance because I didn't have enough time to slide jump again. Another great way is, for example, I'm coming here, I slide jump here, and I fatigue jump up that wall. Now, a really cool way that we can also start combining movement mechanics here, right, is for instance, we can hit a wall bounce, 180 tap strafe, fatigue, wall jump, tap strafe over that wall, right? And basically, again, what I'm doing here, right, is wall jump, 180 tap strafe, fatigue, wall jump, tap strafe over that wall, right? And you can use that to basically just constantly be pushing yourself around. You can even come here, fatigue, wall jump backwards, cover this ledge and drop back down. Right? And there's so many different ways that you can implement movement. You know, the world is your playground. This is why I love Apex Legends. It's because there's so many different things that you can do to just constantly be hard to hit. Now, not in this video, but in future videos, I am going to be doing an advanced movement guide where we're looking to combine different movement mechanics together, just like I demonstrated up there with the 180 wall jump, fatigue wall jump backwards, right? I'm going to be making another video in the near future on how to chain everything together. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure to like and subscribe, support your boy, and leave a comment down below right now. What are you struggling with? What do you want to see next as a YouTube guide? I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to share this one with your friends, especially your friends who suck at movement. Now, if you don't know already, we got merch that's dropped for this fall. Definitely check it out. Link is going to be in the description. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Damn, that was a good watch out. Honey, all the wins. Yeah. Ain't no L's, I gotta get a no call to quit.